Hello everyone, it's just your friendly neighborhood horror writer, Tia. Today we're at Maple Hill Cemetery in Huntsville, Alabama, also known as Dead Children's Playground. When, there was a quarry here between 1945 and 1955, I believe, and it was abandoned. And of course, nature took back over. In the 1960s, there was a rash of child abductions, and nobody knew what was going on or where the kids were going. Unfortunately, they found the skeletons here in this location, and they never found the murderer. And then, the park was created. This is one of the more infamous Huntsville legends. In fact, when I moved here 10 years ago, this was the first story I heard about this town. And if you go in this park at night, which I have several times with many friends, shh, and hid from security too many times to count, there is a lot of weirdness that tends to happen here. One of my favorite things is if you look around the park, you definitely can see many witch marks that are carved in the trees, in the stones, and symbols that most people don't even recognize for what they are. There have been many situations where people have spotted orbs and pictures, have seen the swings swing by themselves, and I'm not talking like wind pushing them because I've seen it myself. It'll start and then when you start to look at it, they stop, like dead stop. I'm kind of familiar with haunts. You know, in my youth, I was a bit of a ghost botherer or that kind of thing. But if you come to this particular place, there is a sense of peace for the most part. Now, there are certain parts of this particular park and cemetery that definitely give me the Wiggins. And in 2007, they tried to take, remove the park, which seems a bit odd in the middle of a cemetery, to put more plots. But the city wasn't having, or the people of the city were not having it. This was a landmark, this was something precious, this was something important to remember. And they decided to replace all the old equipment with new equipment. And I think it's just a fabulous idea.
I feel completely re-energized. I just, I feel so mellow. People want to say that cemeteries are haunted. Generally, they're not. Haunts are usually where someone has died. And I think the only reason that there's spirits here is because of the children that died there. Cemeteries are really, usually very energetically quiet. No one's haunting the cemeteries. So when I walk through, I feel a sense of peace and quiet and serenity for the most part. Now there are some cemeteries that um, have been used for not so nice purposes and having a bad vibe about them. Uh, I can think of a couple in uh, Alabama alone. But overall, it's peaceful. And I think that's why a lot of uh, freaks and goths like me love to have a picnic here and just chill and relax. In fact, this is one of mine and Shad's first dates was at this cemetery. And I find it absolutely beautiful and peaceful. I hope to come back soon, take some more pictures, and just kind of enjoy the peace and the nature of it all, the surrender and the serenity of this beautiful cemetery. I wanna thank you for joining me today. It has been so soothing. Um, you know, it's a very tragic thing that happened to those children, but I just absolutely love the idea of them setting up a park where their remains were found. And, you know, believe in ghosts, don't believe in ghosts, it really doesn't matter. It's more for our inner peace and finding, creating a light where there was such darkness. Now there are children that get to play there and have fun and learn not to be so afraid of the dreaded cemetery. This is just a beautiful part of life, like everything else. If you have any questions or comments you know what to don't do don't forget to hit subscribe i make videos every other monday till next time may the night protect you as you protect the night